Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and this little Polisius tree that you can see right here that I have shown in a previous video. However, I have not really worked on it yet. So uh, when I basically bought it around two to three months ago, I really just wanted it to settle in first before doing any major work on it. It has settled in quite nicely. It had some new growth already. And I think the time has come as spring is just around the corner to actually repot it to into its first bonsai training pot. Right now I can show you it's still in a cover pot and of course within this normal plastic pots. And I want to actually get it in its first training pot, which I can show you right here, a self-made one. And definitely for a first training pot, more than enough for this tree. So. The plan for this tree today is not any pruning because actually I'm quite happy with the foliage as it is at the moment. I also want to see then how it looks in the final pot. The main task is getting it out of the pot it is in right now and transferring it and of course giving it a good watering afterwards, making sure it gets settled into this pot and hopefully having then a nice and healthy tree that I can work on then more and more in the future. Before we start actually repotting, I want to give you a quick overview of the tree and some of the reasoning why I bought it. You can probably already see this big wound here that I find gives it so much character and which was one of the reasons I actually bought it. And the trunk itself is of course enormous on this tree, which of course makes it almost predestined to become a bonsai tree. So that were the main reasons I really bought this tree. It had very healthy foliage. It still does have, have very healthy foliage. So I'm overall very happy with the overall look of the tree. Of course, there could be some minor prunings done here. It is maybe a bit too cluttered here in the beginning, in the front, so we could still take out some of these growth points. However, I think it would be a bit too stressful to also do some more pruning here and also at the same time repotting. So in today's video, I would really focus simply on repotting the tree. So let me get first out of the way the cover pot. And my plan actually is to reuse most of this soil. I say soil, it's mainly bark. It's very airy and the tree has really done amazing in this soil. So I don't see any reason why to not continue to use it because it seems to really like that soil seems to respond to it quite nicely. So I will try to use as much as possible of this soil. But first, let me get it also out of this pot. I give you a view of underneath so you can see some roots coming through here. Very healthy looking whitish roots, quite nice looking. So let's loosen up the pot a bit. So I'm just walking around it, just loosening it up. But as there was not too many roots in the bottom, it should work quite nicely. And it does. And you can see a lot of root mass in the bottom. On the top, not as much. So we might even pot it a bit higher than it was. For that, I'm simply taking off the main layer of the soil. And I'm trying to already transfer some of it into its new pot to already have a nice ground for later on. Even though I'm not sure we will need all of the soil, but we will see as we go along. I can already see there's a lot of trunk still hidden underneath here. I'll give you an overview here. This has been potted up way too deep in my opinion. Look at all that trunk that suddenly appears. Giving the tree of course additional height, we will see how this actually looks. If it is a bit too much, then we can still pot it of course a bit deeper. If we like the look, of course we can pot it somewhat higher also comes off quite nicely. As I said, very airy soil, so it doesn't hold the, the water too long. And so it makes it also quite easy to take off the soil. Very happy with the soil that came in, actually. So here we start to actually see some roots. I try, of course, to take it off as gentle as possible to not damage these roots. This tree has very fine roots, as you can see. So I'm really trying to be not too harsh on the tree right now. Here we still have some bark clinging to it. There was bark mainly as the top dressing as I see now and more granular soil in here than really covering the roots. So we'll try to mix them I guess and really use both of these soil mixtures to still have it basically in the same environment as it was before. 
not many roots as I can see, which is a bit surprising. But it has been doing well with also this little root mess that it has. Trying not to break off too much of them. But still cleaning out as much as possible. Giving you an overview of the tree and you see how tall it actually is. So it was really in quite deep. Showing you from the side here also so you can actually see the entire tree. So this might actually be a bit too high. If let me show you, this might actually be too high, but we will see. I will try to place it now before that actually let me adjust the camera so you can actually see exactly what I'm doing here. So welcome a bit further down so you can actually also see the pot in which we are trying to pot it up. Uh, there's already, I put a lot of soil in it now. I think I have to actually take some of it out again because it is too much. And then we will see how to best place it. I also put some wire in it to anchor the tree. However, as it doesn't really have any thick roots, I'm not quite sure how we best anchor this tree, if we actually need the wire or if we just pot it a bit deeper and then have it fit in here. Because right now I find it a bit too, too tall actually this way. It looks a bit too unnatural. So I'm trying to actually pot it deeper than it than it is at the moment. So let me just basically wiggle it in here as much as possible. Making sure of course the roots are spreading out quite nicely around the tree also. Trying to also give it some grip and see if we actually can find it anyway. Like almost like a grip here. Seeing if this works. They does definitely give it initial grip already. Uh, I'm just realizing I'm at the wrong side right now. So I should, oh no, here we are. Might want to readjust it a bit as I see now in this direction to show this nice looking, old looking wound here a bit more. That already seems nice. And I would still fill out all the little nooks and crannies here with the soil that we had already on the tree that it responded quite nicely to. And I do definitely see a lot of bark in this soil, which should be quite fine, because my bigger fear is actually that it would be too dense than if I switch to another soil now, and that the water wouldn't drain enough. And that is something I'm trying to avoid. I had that all happen on another tree that I repotted actually, that was close to actually dying from root rot I hope I caught it in time. It's still recovering at the moment, but this one here, I really try to avoid doing that by simply reusing the soil I already saw the tree is responding nicely to. So making sure we really fill out all the areas here. The wire definitely did help also to stabilize the tree, which is definitely good because it is quite a shallow pot and quite a heavy tree. So I don't want it jumping out when, for example, watering the tree. Here definitely I can see we can go a bit further in with the soil. Normally I do this with chopsticks, but as this is very rough soil anyway, I think you can simply do it by hand and it fills in nevertheless quite nicely. Here on this side I can see we can still Put some more soil in, really make sure we just fill all these little areas and crevices that do appear when you repot the tree to make sure we don't have any air bubbles or air pockets in here when watering, where water then might collect and then giving us some trouble. So we do try to avoid this at this point. But I think we have filled it out quite nicely. Looking around the tree, seeing if I still see anywhere some problematic areas. Here is a root that came off we can take out. But I think I'm quite happy with the overall look of the tree as it is now. I do see as I had it facing in this direction to the sun, it's leaning a bit in this direction. So I will definitely make sure I put it the other way around now to actually even that out a little bit again. But all in all, I'm quite happy with how it looks. I will also put in here some more footage of the entire tree. I know it's a bit difficult to do it here in vertical format. So just let me put some more footage of it in here, how it actually looks 
as the overall tree a bit a bit taller than i actually expected but i'm not too mad about that still gives the tree a lot of character and i do really enjoy the overall look of this tree because it has simply such an enormous trunk that it really really gives it a nice and interesting look so if you have any questions about this tree or about how i repotted it the soil that it is in or any other question concerning bonsai feel free to leave them in the comments i will get to answer them as soon as i see them if you enjoyed this video of course we'll love if you leave a like and if you enjoy my channel of course feel free to subscribe to it hopefully we'll see you then in the next video until then goodbye